Hello everyone, um, I've been asked to do a video on how to um, place um, an order on my website when you've already got artwork created and that you just want to upload. So the website address is www.easy-print.co.uk and once you've loaded up the website, if we click on the arrow down, and of course my laptop now sounds like it's about to take off, which is typical. Um, you get to the uh, product selection. So you've got all the products in here. We've got print products that you can see loading up on that side. Textile products, all here. Photo products, catering supplies, advertising equipment, packaging, promo products, office supplies and web services. Now my choice is going to be the leaflet folded leaflet so that would be in print products and flyers and folded flyers so I'll wait for that selection to load up and that's taking a while for some reason there we go the amount of pages so you've got single sided double sided four pages six pages eight pages and so on I'd like to have double sided this time round. And the size A5. I think I'll leave it as portrait. And the paper stock, as you can see, there's quite a lot to choose from. It depends on what you're after, really. Um, I think my selection this time around is just going to be for giveaways, mass distribution, putting through the letterbox, that kind of thing. Then 115 or 135 GSM works quite well. Even 170 is quite good. If you want it to be a bit more premium, a bit more fancy, then you've got 250 GSM, 350 GSM. You've got different kind of paper stock here where you've got the ribbed, uh, bright white, premium linen. Um, but like I said, oh, this time round, I'm choosing 135 GSM. You've got glossy or matte to choose from. I'm just going to leave it as glossy. And it's 4x4 four four, uh, coloured CMYK because it's a double-sided leaflet. I'm not going to change or choose any extras here. I don't want it UV varnished, um, so I'll leave that as none. Creasing, none, because it's just a double-sided leaflet, it's not a folded leaflet. Perforation, you can choose if you uh, want anything perforated, but again, it's just going to be a simple leaflet, so I'll leave it as none. You can choose screen-proof or paper-proof, or none. Again, I'm leaving it as none, because I'm quite confident with my artwork. Um, so I don't want it being double-checked. Now, quantity. There's a lot. Um, I'll choose 5,000 leaflets. The price calculates from your selection that you've made and it comes up with the price down here. Um, so you can see if I change that now to 2,500 leaflets, the price changes to reflect that choice. Now if you want to double check that your artwork is what it needs to be, you can choose view fact sheet down here and it comes up and it shows you what size you've got A5 selection which is 148 by 210 and it tells you that you need to have the bleed the minimum bleed is 2 mil I normally set all my uh, artwork bleed to 3 mil and then the number of pages you've got um, well I've, I've chosen double sided so it shows you whether it's landscape or um, sorry, portrait or landscape. And there you go. So that's quite handy to read through that and make sure that your artwork is correct. You can close that if you're happy with it. I'm going to leave it as two and a half thousand leaflets. Um, we'll continue with by now. The file name is whatever your, your PDF file is called, I'm just going to name mine test.pdf and the data transfer upload 
um, basic check for free. It's always handy to have that. And then continue with order. Now you get quite a few uh, extras that you can choose and add to your order. I'm just going to continue with my selection. So continue. Continue. And continue. Different delivery options. I'm just going to choose the standard. So continue with that one. Now my leaflet is quite a simple, straightforward leaflet, an information leaflet. There's no vouchers on there for them to cut out or um, and keep. So, which means that I can actually select zero VAT because um, leaflets up to 350 GSM are zero rated. And as you can see, automatically it comes up with 20% VAT and the cost for that is there. But if you read through that, now I've, I've I've clicked on the uh, percentage icon there. If you read through that and you make sure that you qualify for the 0% rated, even though we do check all orders to make sure um, that you do qualify for it. So select tick the order with 0 VAT, the box there, and click anywhere on the white space and you'll see that the price has changed. So 0% VAT is now £0 on there. Delivery options is going to go to myself, so I'll, just, I'll leave that as it is. And I'm, sele I'm selecting advanced payment, um, but you can choose credit card. You t uh, put in your details in here, and you can see that our website is SSL secure, so there's no fear on um, paying with your credit card or your debit card. Um, so advanced payment for me, tick. T's and C's that you've accepted them and then buy now. Complete the order and it should take you to the confirmation page, there we go, and upload print files. The file name that I put in is test.pdf comes up here with your order number. Upload print files now, I'm not going to go ahead and do this because the minute I do this, it continues with the order. Um, however, when you select advance payment, you need to make sure that you either do a BAX or you send a check because um, the order has to be paid for before we can start printing it. When you uh, pay by credit card and you've uploaded your artwork, that confirms the order and the order just goes ahead to uh, the printing process. So you select the file um, that you want to upload and then open, um, no I'm not going to do that, and it, it loads up on the page and you, uh, once, it's, once it shows in this box, in this grey box here, uh, you can select upload print files and you'll upload the files and it'll come up to say that it's all confirmed. And that's that is how easy it is to place an order on our website and upload your print file. Thank you for watching.